Okay. You, uh, you love them or you hate them, not the ladies, the planks. <laughs> I'm talking about playing now. Okay, we look at that and we go, okay, she's doing a plank. But boy, am I learning a whole lot more about planks this morning. And Gilbert from uh, Shapes for Women with us this morning. Your friends tell us, tell me. Ilda and Christine. Hi, Ilda ladies. Christine. Thank you. All right, while you and I talk about they're planks, they're working it, aren't they? They're going to do variations on planks. And you're here to tell me <clears throat> there's more to planking than just that. Yes, and we've always thought of it as the best way to stabilize the core muscles, and that's true. But now, since we've become what I call plankaholics, yeah. there's other things you can do with the plank. You can actually isolate specific muscle groups, specifically like the walking plank, or you can add cardiovascular activity to your plank if you're missing that in your exercise prescription. All right, what's she doing right there? What's that's called a Spider-Man. That's, that's a what Spider -Man. I call it, too. But she can combine mountain climbers, jumping jacks, Spider-Mans, and she can bring that heart rate up and elevate <laughs> her core temperature. And if she's missing cardiovascular activity, this is a cardiovascular interval from the plank position. Now, what's the advantage? Oh, you just took the chair away. I was going to ask you, what's the advantage? <laughs> Sorry. A good, what's the advantage of using a chair? A chair is a great starting point for people that are intimidated about getting down to the floor or don't have the ability to get down to the floor. So she's doing what's called an elbow stance plank. She still keeps her hips up. She still engages the whole glute area, but she does it in an, acting, an action that's appropriate for her fitness level. I want to show a side plank because... Because okay. uh, you love I mean, them, right? I know. Have you tried them? I hate them? them more than any... Yeah, I tried. <laughs> but, I mean, that's an, that, you, that takes a lot of stability to pull that off. Yes, and it's also stabilizing and working on the strength of the muscles that wrap around the core the obliques, the QLs, the exercises, the muscles that are responsible for perform performance of activities. You said something a while ago, and I'm going to ask you about it. You're not, what are you doing? Is it, you're not strengthening your abs, or you're not building your abs? Not sure. what, is it, what, is, what is an exercise like this doing for you? It's really focusing on the stabilization of the muscles of the core, so that you can perform activities of daily life better and for a longer period of time. So if you've only been holding your planks for five minutes, remember how we went through those contests? Lord, yes. Five minutes, 10 minutes. You've really been working on endurance of the muscles. Right. I'm asking you to look at strengthening the muscles. Okay, now, you, in the notes you sent over, you said you can do a plank standing up. You can do a plank standing up, and isn't that empathetic? Empathetic to someone that's never done a plank before? So just as though Russell were on the floor, Okay. Christine is training him to extend his hips, to engage his glutes, and to make sure he doesn't drop the hips. We never want to droop the hips, okay? Trainers call it hip drooping. Don't drop your hips. Keep your head in line with your spine. <laughs> Keep your head nice. It's a great place to start, right? It's thank a great you. place to start. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Love you all. Us. Thanks for being here.